Hey everybody, Rich here. This video is going to cover what slices are and how to make a slice. Slices can be found under Data and the Slices tab up above. Slices are essentially filters of data that allow you to present a selection of records for the end users. These slices can ultimately be connected to views and be used throughout your application as if they were their own table. To create a new slice, click the new slice button, give your slice a name. And in this case, we have an application that's a very simple task management application where we have different tasks that are grouped by status, started, not started, and complete. If I wanted to create a slice of data that only shows the active tasks that are not complete, I would take the following steps. Under slice name, I'm going to give the slice a name. Ensure that the slice is connected to the appropriate table. So in this case, it's a task management table, and it's the only table I've added to the app. And then in the row filter condition, I'm going to describe what I'm trying to do. I'm going to say status is not complete. If AppSheet's natural language algorithm picks up your intent, it'll show some suggestions down below that you can just click on to add the expression below. In this case, AppSheet did not pick up that intent. So we're going to go ahead and create a custom expression. And in the formula line itself, we're going to reference the status column. And then we're going to say equals complete. And then we're going to wrap this in not. So anytime you're using one of the functions in AppSheet, you'll wrap what you want AppSheet to analyze inside of the function itself. In this case, we want AppSheet to create a filter where the status is not equal to complete. And down below, you'll see a reminder of what this formula means. If you want to, when you're doing inequalities, you can also use the not equals to nomenclature and say not equals to complete, which should be a little faster. I'm going to hit save. Once I've added that filter condition, I can then come down here and add and remove different columns from my table if I desire. This is handy if you want to create multiple views that reference the same slice and you don't, don't want to have to reorder columns for each view that you make. Under slice actions, if you've added any actions to your app, you can add or remove specific slice actions below or set it to auto to include all the default action behaviors that you have set up. Under update mode, you're able to set a more restrictive update policy for your table. So for example, if you've allowed full permissions to the table at the table level, then you can remove permissions for specific slices if you only wanted to give certain permissions for that slice itself. Keep in mind, you can't have a more relaxed update modes. For example, if your table level only allows for updates, you can't create slices that allow for adds and deletes. AppSheet will always inherit properties at the table level down to the slice level. And then lastly, you can add any descriptive comments down below to help with documentation purposes. Once you've set up this slice, you've created a slice of data that now can be used in other views in your application that will only show the tasks that are not complete. So with that, thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions down below and have a great one.